Alright, how do you do everyone? We are joined here with an Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct. It's 8 a.m. I don't have to be awake at this time right now. I have my Animal Crossing amiibo cards right there, all ready to go, as well as Kappa. I'm not the biggest Animal Crossing fan, but I did enjoy the GameCube one a lot. Got myself Tortimer's Lighthouse. That was nice, I remember that. And it feels, like I said, it feels like this is the first time we're actually getting some news. It should be, there we go. <laughs> Hi there, my boy. Tom Nook. Make sure that's live. I'm so glad to welcome you. Information on this station. You see, this year, on March 20th, our long-awaited Desert Island getaway package begins departure. My company, Nook Inc., has prepared a special move for the occasion. Deep dive into deserted island life. There's so much we want to share. We'll have to divide it into three separate parts. Wait, what? Part 1 is a refresher of the getaway package, a reminder of what we've shared so far. Part 2 will cover future development plans, and part 2 will answer some frequent asked questions. So what a further ado, let's start part 1. Alright. Nice. I'm really excited for this though, I'm gonna say that. Like I said, I'm not the biggest Animal Crossing fan, but this has me pumped. Like, look how pretty that looks. <laughs> like, uh, I just hope, like I said, I hope they add a lot of, um, what is the word called? A lot of... <laughs> look at him. Features. I hope they add a lot of, uh, quality of life features, you know? To make it like less tedious, because that's kind of what I had a problem with the other games. It was kind of tedious, like getting items and doing stuff. <laughs> they look so derpy. BA, you said you're getting two copies? One for you and one for your babe? Nice. I think Phil, he was telling me like the same thing. He got a switch light or something for his babe. Winter all the way. I wonder if you can choose, make it snow all the time. I like how they're making it um, sound like a, you know, like we are flying to, you know, like this island resort, and it's like one of those cheesy informational videos that you get. For, oh, cicadas are back! Noise. <laughs> Look at that derp. What kind of hair was that? <clears throat> Is that a mushroom? I think there was a mushroom on the ground. We got drugs. And in winter, the island transforms into a chilly snowscape. The usual winter activities hey. are a jolly good time. A jolly good time. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Like I said, I'm not a huge of a fan, but this looks real pretty. When the seasons change, the activities available to you change along with them. But the simple joys of nature are just one. That's a giant mushroom. Did you see that? Was that a, is that a yeti? What is that? The gorilla in the back over there? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. We're gonna steal all your cash now. Hey, Goldie, sir. Get your house. Not for free. So, want a good place for a tent? There was a tree in the way. Okay, I just... I guess we just killed the tree. Oh, that's so cool. That's kind of cool. So you can... That's awesome. I think that's new, right? You can choose where your neighbors live too now, because usually you just choose a town, and their houses are already there. That's pretty cool. Only two? Hi, Featherhead. 
this can in the plaza to access resident services. <laughs> Look at that hair. Support all of your daily needs. It's open 24 hours a day. Wait, only two? With services such as the sale of everyday goods. What about like the purchase of unwanted items? What about the able sisters and, you know, and helpful advice about living on a deserted island? And like the museum? And by attending our free DIY workshops, you'll learn how to craft a variety of items. Also, can you hear the video for the head? Is it loud enough? I like the DIY stuff. That's really cool. Then choose what to make. I like that you can find the you know items. It's ready. But you don't, look how fat Tanuk is. That is quite a belly. <laughs> Yeah, I like that you can just collect it. Your life with your own hands. Oh yeah. Are you experienced with DIY crafting? You found this news? Yeah, it's it's a relaxing game, kind of you know. But like I said, the biggest thing that my problem I had was um it was tedious. You know, clicking on one item at a time, putting it into your inventory or getting rid of it when I wanted to, you know, do that for like ten items at the same time. Uh, it felt a little tedious, so I hope this this version fixes all that. It's our wish that you learn these DIY skills by taking advantage of our workshops. <laughs> Look at that little outfit. <laughs> Welcome to the airport, where you'll. I'm guessing this in the mail. I mean, it said airport, but can I give mail? Twenty-four hours a day, beginning the day after. What the turn is that? That's a new character, I think. At the airport. <laughs> Look at him. Is that Dodo? It is Dodo Airlines. But what about all the other, like, like I said, like the museum? Because they said there's only two places and a giant island. That's pretty cool. Eight people can just destroy everything. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There's the letters. Yeah. Hey, girl. Send nudes. Hell. <laughs> it's hell. <laughs> Help! I'm trapped and I can't get out. Will this be your first time living somewhere so remote? On a deserted island, no less? This music is... Mm. Three big ways mm. to support you in yeah. acquainting yourself with your new mm. surroundings. <laughs> You're starting a new life. So in addition Can you hear the music, though? You gotta... The, someone's gotta tell me something. Necessities, as well as services. No need to worry. <laughs> Is that a stretcher? I think that is. The true standout is your specially built nook phone. It has the standard apps like a camera and map, but over time, we will provide new applications to support all your passport island needs. What about but I'm wondering what about the museum? Maybe they'll show it, but start of each day, our CEO, Mr. Nook. Cuz I want to see my boy Blathers. Or not Blathers, um yeah, Blathers. I want to see my boy Blathers. Since this is likely your first time on a deserted island, we're offering guidance and inspiration through the Nook Mileage Program. It's a derpy looking face. Great for when you're looking to participate in some activities and you're in need of some recommendations. Are you saying it's just for the game or can you actually get stuff from the eShop like this. And as you have these experiences, you build up miles like so. Ah oh, jeez, we got one of those again. This guy. The miles you save up. Take him away, boys. The cost of the getaway package and they can also exchange for in-game rewards at the Nook Stop terminal in Resident Services. Rewards range from in-game Nook Inc. merchandise to helpful items that can enrich your time on the island. To get the most out of every day, try collecting miles using the Nook Mileage Program. But I want to know about like... Is here for you, but remember, 
The island is very much deserted. You said you can make designs with, um, I think the phone. Talk about some possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions. So the Able Sisters are out of a job. Nature rich island. It's possible that you could encounter dangerous insects such as wasps or scorpions. Oh my lord. You probably get stung and your face is like all. You may end up somewhat hey. irritated. That's funny. Or worse. Dead? Wait, what? <laughs> you die in this game? Try not to push your luck and consider I guess you just get knocked out or something, but. Symptoms can be cured with medicine available at resident services. And we recommend keeping some on you, just in case. Nighttime on the island can get a little dark. You're on your own. The music is cheesy. Be careful when taking a late night stroll. The getaway package. Oh, nice wisp. Adventure. So, if you think about it, this is actually a plus. Wasn't he only on Halloween? Like, doesn't he only arrive? I have no idea. You may come across a castaway from time to time. Oh, that guy. Wasn't he? Isn't his name Pete or something? Oh no, Gulliver. Never mind. Until they wake up. I think he's from the other games. I remember he seeing him, but I could be wrong. <laughs> so, so to find new villagers, you just wait for them to like get stranded. I feel like Tom Nook is behind this. You know, he's like crashing people into the ocean or something. Rescue service? You'll be transported somewhere cozier. Ah, oh, it's a remix of that um I remember this song. Oh my lord, is it Rossetti? Is is this supposed to be Rossetti? So far, there should be plenty to enjoy on the island already. But if you want your in-game life to be even more comfortable, we will offer a number of optional extras. Does the environment seem a bit rough? Do you need a little more space for all your stuff? If you said yes to either of these questions, then we have an option for you. Oh my lord, your own home, just buy now for like 50 million dollars. No interest, and no assessment. <laughs> There's no need to worry about applying for one. You can pay it back at your own pace. Oh my lord. <laughs> more space than the tent you'll start with and also has its own storage spaces capable of holding any furniture and baggage you're not displaying now, uh you see this is what i meant like one at a time what if i want to choose multiple items at a time can i do it because this is kind of tedious you know click on one go down to click on that i was hoping they would like make that a little easier on redecorating while viewing the room as a whole. <laughs> it's so cheesy. I wonder how huge you can get your house in this place. Can you have like a mansion on the island? If you own a house, you oh, you can. You additional extension and or but they're probably not going to show everything, but... Whatever your situation, we have a Multiple rooms too, that's kind of neat. So please don't hesitate to ask us about them. Yeah, micromanagement stuff. TV music. Miles tickets. These can be used to travel to distant islands. The destination of these tours differs each time and depends on how the pilot is feeling. They're mystery tours, so to speak. Wait, mystery tours? Destinations are small deserted islands full of trees and flowers. I... Of course, you can take many items back home. <laughs> so you go to these people's home and you just steal their stuff. That's what I'm seeing here. Just like that water spider bug thing. Maji. Was it Maji in the other game too? That thing. That looks like the most um time saving thing ever. The spider is following you. That's funny. Oh my lord, he just drowned. What about the museum? I still want to know. Like, can you find. Are they in this game? Because it doesn't feel. 
It doesn't feel like there's a lot of like little shops and stuff so far. Only to those islands with multiple residents is called party play. With this way to play, you can call up other residents who live on the same island as you, allowing up to four. Well, they say there's three parts. There's they're gonna show the stuff they already showed, then they're gonna show new stuff, part two, and then part three was like a answering some questions. Because not everyone, you know, has seen all the Animal Crossing stuff. Oh, you can get different type of wood? When you... That person was chopping up the tree. They got some different type of wood. <laughs> Beach ball. <laughs> so you're recycling live animals? How does that work? <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Just a live crab. We are developing a web service within the Nintendo Switch online app for real-world smart devices. It's called Nook Link. As an example, the service lets you scan QR code patterns of custom designs. With such a tool, oh, that's you can cool. Use smartphone's camera function to scan the QR codes of custom designs. Yeah. Animal Crossing New Leaf or Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer games. That's cool. Download them via Nook Link. Um, the old hag and I, we were playing Happy Home Designer for like a few months. And then Phil deleted our save, of course. <laughs> but I did use that. I made a derpy little doodle. That's kind of cool that you can do that. I was hoping when they said that. I was hoping they like you can transfer your homes or something. That'd be cool. I want to know what the amiibos do, though. They're probably going to answer it. You can put a butt on your shirt. You sure can. Well then, now that you've seen part one, are you interested in relocating to one of our deserted islands? Tom Nook. Imagine, with me the grand potential. No, this then future that awaits us all. My boy, if you removed Blathers, I don't know if I can go to this island. I don't know. Deserted island developments. With the getaway package, you'll really get that <laughs> Look at that guy in the back. Look at that little fat, what is that, hamster? Hey, a little derpy elephant. And develop the island into a bustling community. Is that ukulele? For some time now, I've been advertising the Nintendo Getaway Package. Heh. So I can choose people like, get out of here, I don't want you on my thing. I mean, that's like the other Animal Crossing games, I think. Oh, <gasps> yeah! Blathers! Oh, they're bringing back Able Sisters. Nice! My boy, Blathers! Yeah, boy! Oh, that's cool! You can... Yeah! Oh, that looks so pretty. The dinosaurs? I want to see the, um... Uh... Able Sisters, my boys! I want to see the... Th is that snorkeling gear and a onesie? <laughs> where you can guests for <laughs> yeah, look at that guy. I want to see the, uh, what were they called, the gyroids? I wanna... Look how pretty that looks, though. Look at that, that is so cool. The museum looks, like, crazy. Aw, yeah. Look at those little buns. <laughs> I meant hair buns. I'm not looking at them, Jake. The resident services <laughs> you can put my face, your face on the shirt. <laughs> well, uh, Weenie and I, back on the Animal Crossing on the 3DS, we had a, a custom Powerpuff Girls shirt I made. <laughs> Look at that derpy hair. <laughs> Also, Isabel's back. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. I'm here. Oh. We'll lean on staff experienced in providing operational support. That way, that's easy. People are probably pooping their stuff. Like, yeah, Isabel. 
Who has an amiibo? I want Tortimer. Where's my boy Tortimer? I want to bring him, bring him home. I'm I'm hoping the coffee shop is there too. <laughs> Harvey, isn't he the one who uh, was part? Oh, <gasps> Celeste, there's Celeste. Where's my boy Blathers? I guess if Celeste is there, Blathers is too. If the museum is there. <laughs> um. Uh. <gasps> wait. Oh, wait. Where's? Oh, there's cakes. Where's um? Where's Joanne? Wait, did Joanne retire? That can't be the new Joanne. Those weren't my turnips. I only buy turnips from Joanne. That was a new person. Come on now. Free updates. Nice. I'm guessing if you change the date when the game comes out, you're not going to be able to see the Halloween stuff. I'm guessing until like one year later when they actually add it into the game. That's my guess. <laughs> hey, look at that guy up there. Exercising. That is so cool. That's what I'm talking about. Instead of going all the way around, he used a little ladder to get up. That's awesome. There you go. This is what I'm talking about, like... Nice. Oh my lord, this is going to save so much time. And once the island is fully decked out, we will provide you with a permit. Island designer app? Wait, can I not like once it's done? One at a time? Oh my lord, that seems I mean there's probably an option to do it quicker. But that's really cool. That's pretty cool. I think that's new. I don't know if you could do that in the other games. <laughs> can I make like caves or something? That's really cool. And you can jump over it too. That's awesome. Oh my lord. One at a time like in a Dragon Quest. I mean there's probably a way to do it more. But if you need like a certain spot, you know, it's a lot easier to do that. As you've seen today, the deserted island getaway package offers you a wild new life surrounded by nature, just as its name suggests. <laughs> or you can lead a comfortable life in a perfectly planned community. Look how pretty that looks though. Like, look at that. Look at those details. Like once you have, you know, like things around. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah, boy, you got a birthday party. Yippee, Brewster! The deserted island getaway package presented by Nook Inc. Oh, that looks so pretty, though. Your departure is on track for March 20th of 2020. <laughs> That's a giant tuna. Is that tuna? I think it's the tuna. Okay, I want to know how do amiibos work, though. That looks cool. I'm excited for this. Did they say when it's coming out though? It said March, right? Is it March 3rd? Right? That's like in two weeks. Thank you for your undivided attention. I think I have a good picture of the getaway. I'm sure some of you have already decided to make the move. Others might still be thinking it over. I hope all of you use the time until our getaway package flights begin to imagine what your life will be like. Finally. I'm sure many of you still have questions. Hmm. We have anticipated some specific ones. My staff have compiled these into an FAQ segment for part three. Let's take a look. Oh, March 20, so exactly one month from now. I play the game together with my family on a single Nintendo Switch system. Probably, right? With the uh, Joy-Cons? Nintendo Switch system and the game. Up to eight people in your family can live on one shared island. Nice. That is pretty cool. Each user can register one resident. And they randomly walk around and do their own thing? Of course, build their own house. That is really cool. Does the game <gasps> yes. Amiibo? Tell me about the amiibos. Yes. The game 
supports amiibo figures and amiibo cards from the animal oh my god this is going to be insane what do they do though cuz there's like a million animal crossing amiibos and cards i'm not getting them all of course but i'm just wondering bunny do they bring him over these familiar faces from Protopia. an island that exists someplace out there where you can place models and create a photo shoot <laughs> oh my god what the turd is this That guy's bald. Second player can destroy. <gasps> Do you have any more information Your world, yeah. Friends? While visiting other islands online, you can communicate with <clears throat> friends or players not registered as friends. <clears throat> but yeah, I got the old hag on her birthday. I think it was her birthday or Valentine's Day last year. A leaf amiibo. And a, um,. I think it was a Rover or Rosie Amiibo. So she's, you know, going to be excited to fling them into the game. However, friends who are registered as best friends. It's no problem. Please use this feature when interacting with your closest friends. Best friends. So there you go. I think that's what prevents you from um destroying the town. You give people that That's bootleg. Why is it not supported? For recovering backed up save data from the server in certain circumstances, such as console damage or loss. Why does that that doesn't make any sense? Yes. That looks so pretty, that thing. I've been looking at that and they also showed a video on Nintendo's uh Oh they didn't show the back. The back of the Switch has like these logos. There you go. Those joy cons though, those colors. Oh my lord. Yes. We will offer That is bootleg though. Why um seasonal events throughout the year. The first free update on launch day, March 20th. By installing this update, you can celebrate Bunny Day with a special Bunny Day, not Easter, Bunny Day. We're planning to roll out a special offer for both Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Crossing New Horizons, through which players can receive special items. Oh, that's kind of cool. But that's bootleg. You can't. That is a waste of like. Why? Details will be announced Nintendo. Date from the official Animal Crossing did Pokemon. Can you back up your save like to the cloud with Pokemon or no? Like a huge game like Animal Crossing and Pokemon, you should be able to. That is bootleg. Just one final tidbit. I'll start sharing info directly on Deserted Island Live via the official Animal Crossing Twitter. Yes, I certainly appreciate a follow. Oh my god. I look very much forward to meeting you all on the island on March 20th. A lovely new horizon. That is bootleg. Hi, Isabel. Noise. Well, I'm ready. I'm... I'll give that a try. But how bootleg is that? Like you can't back up your save? Like what the turd? It looked like they had quality of life improvements, building the bridges and using ladders and stuff to get over terrains. And if you don't like it, just destroy it or change the terrain. That's awesome. 324,000 followers already. The possibilities with the app are endless. The museum looks so amazing. It, it looks awesome. That museum looks real pretty. Oh my god. Look at that. I'm excited for that. They have a version without the narrator too, that's kind of nice. So you can just look at it if you don't want to, you know, listen to that. Or like fans, they're probably going to, you know, look through details and whatever. I wanted to check, they did like an unboxing of that Switch model, like that special edition. It looks really cool. But yeah, this looks real pretty. Hold on. Do they show a close up? Yeah, that looks pretty. Look at that. That's so cool. Here's to Animal Crossing, I guess. This one like seems actually interesting, so I'm gonna have to give it a swirl. They did show KK Slider. I'm hoping Tortimer somehow appears, you know, comes back to life. I don't think he died, of course, but I hope he comes back. The coffee guy, I forgot what his name is. Roos, Rooster or Roos or something. I wanna see him too, as well as like the little, you know, concerts with KK Slider. That's gonna be neat. Thanks for watching, ladies and turds. See each other next time. Adios.